Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Welcome back, fight fans. Today, we're here to discuss the aftermath of the brawl that just broke out between the superstar, Gervonta Davis, and the legend, Floyd Mayweather, at an airport in Dubai. Things got heated. Punches were exchanged, mostly from Tank's side. Yep, Floyd got the worst of it. He wasn't expecting Tank to come at him like that. But hey, he did, and now the whole world can't stop talking about it. This altercation attracted reactions from many pros, and let's just say you can't miss out on these. We got guys like Mike Tyson and Conor McGregor weighing in on this drama. So without any further ado, let's take a deep dive into the drama. Let's rewind for a second. For years, Gervonta was seen as the protege, the heir apparent to Floyd's throne. Mayweather promotions helped elevate Davis from a promising fighter to one of the most feared names in the sport. But as time went on, cracks started to appear in their relationship. Things got heated pretty soon. Gervonta started distancing himself from Floyd. And from that point on, there was nothing but bad blood. And then, what, what do you make of uh, Devontae Davis and uh, Floyd Mayweather's beef? Have you tried to step in and make peace? Okay. Tell all your guys tuning in this Saturday. It's going to be, that car is going to be electrifying. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Did, did you see, I know you don't think, like, you don't think Twitter holds a lot of substance, but did you see some of the rumors flying around about Leonard might be leaving Mayweather promotions? Man, I don't listen to none of that stuff. I'm doing what I do. I'm doing what I do. Is there any truth to any of that? No. That's a, that's a resounding no. <laughs> Frank said he removed uh, Kermit Bolton from fighting on his undercut. Okay. Frank said he removed... Uh, Man, I'm here to talk about the fight, Okay. this Saturday night, and that's it. Uh, what about the co-main event, Leonard? Love that. Love it. Mayweather was living it up in Dubai, soaking in the sun and luxury. But just as he was about to head back to the States, something wild went down at the airport. Picture this. Floyd, relaxed and ready to fly, suddenly spots Tank Davis. And if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear what happened next. Tank threw a punch at Floyd. And no, I'm not talking about a little slap. This was Tank's terrifying left hook, the same punch that ended Frank Martin's career. Floyd has never been hit this hard, not even when he was going head-to-head -head with guys much stronger than him in the boxing ring. Looks like this Dubai vacation wasn't the peaceful getaway Floyd had in mind. Now let's take a look at what the pros are making of this drama. Some of these stars had some wild things to say, like our guy. Adrian Broner. Broner gave his word to Tank, promising that if it ever comes down to a brawl again, he's got his back. That's right, Broner is ready to step in and support Tank if things get heated once more. This guy isn't just sitting on the sidelines, he's making it crystal clear where his loyalty lies. You know, and when me and Tank go at it sometime, he'll look at Tank and say, yo, listen to him, man. I'm good. Hey, shout out about what, what, what's, your, what's your thought on uh, uh, Tank and Floyd going back and forth, man? I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we got to go there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson, on the other hand, had a good laugh about the brawl on his podcast. Yep, the legend found it funny that the guy Floyd helped to reach the top is now attacking him in public. Tyson said, it's just funny. These two were family. Floyd put him at the top just so he could attack him in public. Life comes at you in funny ways. Gervonta Davis's trainer also broke the silence on this hot topic. Ford said what happened to Floyd was pure karma. Oh, so the coach is firing shots too. This beef is far from over. They can't stand it, you know, calm is a, I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but our Lord knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Canadian MMA star 
Ayman Zahabi, gave his initial thoughts on the drama. Now this guy believes the whole thing was a public stunt. Yep, he thinks it's all nonsense. And you can't really blame him. Cause we're talking about Floyd here. With that guy, anything is possible. Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, had the wildest reaction. Cause not only did he just give his thoughts, but he also revealed why Tank attacked him in the first place. And that's all that everyone wants to know. Well, Garcia spilled the bean. Tank Davis was fooling around with Floyd's daughter. Yep, that's right. And when Floyd found out, he made his daughter end things with Tank. We're talking about two grown adults. Floyd can't do that, but he did. And Gervonta Davis made sure he got his revenge at the airport. I already knew. I already, I already knew about all that. Though. Once um, Javante fucked uh, J uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like, that's not something I'm exposing. But that's not the only reason. Now we talked about pros reacting. Let's hear it from the man himself, Gervante Davis. Let's see what Tank has to say for himself after brutally attacking Floyd. Surely he's got a good reason, right? Yep, he does. Now. This whole situation initially painted Gervonta Davis as the bad guy, but everything changed when Tank dropped a bombshell about what actually went down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank, and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets, and let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. It ain't, you're not gonna hurt me, you know what I mean? So it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll put you in bad situations. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the incident in Dubai. Now you can't miss out on what he said because this changes everything. I got to Floyd before he got to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on whenever. I saw him at the port and it was go time. He's all bark and no bite. What's funny is that Floyd started recording as Tank came and trash talked him at the airport, but he never posted it. Maybe he just didn't want the world to see how Tank Davis gave him a brutal beatdown. But hey, Gervonta Davis hit Floyd right after the whole scene. He asked Floyd for the video, and guess what? The legend did. He blocked Tank. At this point, these two should just get in the ring and settle their differences. Emphasis on the ring, because we don't want another public brawl. It's about time we get to see these two go head-to-head -head in a pro bout. Guess what? We are going to see them in action sooner than we think. Gervonta Davis recently revealed he's fighting Floyd this September. Just take a look at this. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.